Will humans have the cure for the virus? If so, will they try to reverse what happened with Caesar? One of the most interesting characters in the new Planet of the Apes movie is May. One of the few intelligent humans that we could see in this installment, the same one that as the movie went on, we could see that she had her own motivations and objectives. This woman betrayed the apes so that humanity could return to the top of the evolutionary chain. In this video, we will be talking about May's plan, but we will also talk about the cure for the virus that left humans mute and in a primitive state in this universe, something that could be shown in the next Planet of the Apes movie. So if you want to know more about this universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. Before starting with this video, I invite you to participate in our Planet of the Apes giveaway, where we will be awarding the Funko Pop of the Apes Liberator Caesar, along with the trilogy of this great character. So if you want to participate, you just have to subscribe to this channel and comment on which is your favorite character from the Planet of the Apes universe and why. The winner will be announced on May 27th. To understand the reason why May might actually have the cure for this virus, which left humans in a primitive state, we must first talk about what exactly caused humans to lose their speech. In the first movie of Caesar's trilogy, the one titled Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, we were shown how different laboratories around the world were trying to find a cure for Alzheimer's disease. We call it the cure to Alzheimer's. The scientist, Will Rodman, was trying by all means to avoid losing his father, who was a victim of this cruel disease. After several experiments, he seemed to have found a cure. However, after failing to find a cure, this experiment turned out to be worse than the disease itself. The fact that his father's Alzheimer's condition was so aggressive led Will to create an aggressive virus to fight against it. As a result, the virus began to mutate and negatively affect humans. It first started as a typical virus transmitted through the air, affecting the lungs in such a way that it caused people to die in a short period of time. Quickly, the virus spread and infected the world. This virus not only had a high mortality rate, but also brought with it side effects that no one could have ever imagined. Although it was a deadly virus for humans, it turned out to be a miracle for primates. The virus that wiped out the population endowed them with a high intellectual level, making them the dominant species in the world. For its part, humanity began to fall very fast, to the point that the planet became an echo of what it was in the past. However, the virus continued to mutate. I think that in the last stage of the virus, it was no longer so deadly to humans, but a terrible side effect emerged. The humans who came into contact with this new strain became mute. However, my own son was a soldier with one of the units. One day he suddenly stopped speaking. Not all humans were exposed to the virus. Some humans were immune, while others were able to escape by taking refuge in bunkers. In a very short time, the virus affected all humans on the surface, turning them into animals, degrading their cognitive abilities, and reducing them to fearful beings who could neither speak nor organize themselves. The virus succeeded in reverting humanity to a primitive state, and as a result, human civilization as we know it was destroyed. In the past, mankind had created different shelters, which would serve to save the lives of important people during a nuclear war. In the original movies, we met the mutants, people who lived in these subterranean shelters with the purpose of protecting the atomic bombs. Well, in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, another of these bunkers is shown, and according to May, half of human civilization escaped to these subterranean shelters. We do not know much about May's story, but Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes gives us clues as to what her objective was. May, along with her partner, was tasked with retrieving some sort of key or device, which would restore communications from her bunker to the rest of the planet. This means that May's shelter for some reason was out of communication, but May was sent along with someone else to find another bunker. When May meets Noah, she is separated from the person with whom she escaped from the bunker and is trying to get away from Proximus Caesar's soldiers, who became aware of May's existence. Now, although May's purpose was to get this key or device to restore communications, 
We can see that in one scene she tells Noah that her goal is to help humans recover their speech with something located in the bunker that Proximus Caesar wished to have access to. But what did this mean? Perhaps May was referring to humans being able to regain the ability to communicate with other places from a distance. Could this be what May meant by regaining speech? But I have a feeling this could mean something else. What if May's bunker holds the cure for the virus? If anything was clear in this movie, it's that May's mission was far more important than anything else. She prioritized her mission over Trevathan's life, and even over her friendship with Noah. I know where they're taking your clan. It is as if May thought that the future of humanity depended on reconnecting the communication systems. This leads me to think, and there is a possibility that May was not lying. Most likely the humans in this bunker have found the cure to the virus. In the final scene of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, we saw how the society May came from was organized underground, and it had technology. If they had indeed managed to find the cure, this would explain why they sent May and another person to find the communications device in another bunker. Because if they have successfully found the cure, now that they have communication with the outside world, they will be able to inform the other humans about this cure, and that they will be able to retake the surface and thus become the dominant species again. However, there is an important element to all of this. We saw Noah question May at the end of the movie, asking her if she wants the apes to go back to being mute. Noah saw in a storybook that was inside the bunker that previously, humans kept apes in zoos. And he doesn't want to be in this position again. This leads me to think that perhaps the cure for the virus could reverse all the effects that the previous virus caused in humans. And perhaps it could also reverse the intelligence that the apes developed, causing them to lose their speech. It is very likely that in the next film after Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, May will have to make a difficult decision. Use the cure to help the humans, but simultaneously destroy the intelligence of all the apes around the world. I think the next fight for the planet will then show how May and Noah must understand that they are in a cycle of violence, and that they must find coexistence, even if it means having a planet with two dominant species. Personally, the idea that humans actually have a cure, and that the next movie is about this, is quite an interesting idea. And I think May would not hesitate for a second to do it, as she proved that her mission is much more important than her emotions. But tell me, what do you think about all this? Could it be that the humans have the cure for the virus, and that's why they needed to contact other subterranean shelters? Could it be that the humans will try to reverse what happened in the past in the next movie? And for more videos from the Planet of the Apes universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Oasis Geek.